Today we will show you quickly how to change your LCD screen on a BMW 2 Series Active Tora Central Infotainment Display Unit. First off, let's see what a failed screen looks like. So you know your screen is at fault. Does your BMW 2 Series Active Tora have the following screen faults? Black dots, circles or holes in the image appear to be burnt into the screen. If these symptoms match your fault, this confirms the screen needs replacing. With this repair video and our preferred OEM quality replacement part, you can get your display working again. At QuickCycle, we specialize in electronic repair. Located in the UK, we ship out on the same day and provide great customer support. Confirm your central screen matches the following images and part number. With a pry tool, remove the back plastic cover on the screen. Remove the four T15 screws. There are two types of screws used, self-tapping for the plastic joint and threaded for the screen. Remove the plastic surround. There are a couple of plastic clips that need to be released to free the screen. Release the screen from the aluminium housing. With a pry tool, release the clips holding the screen in place. 
Work around the screen applying pressure to separate the screen to prevent the clips from latching again. Lift off and remove the aluminium housing. Now the daughter board needs to be removed. Release the ribbon cables by pushing on either side of the ribbon cable clip. Repeat the same step for the smaller ribbon cable. Remove the daughter board from the old screen by releasing the white clips. Install the daughter board onto the replacement LCD screen and clip it back in place. Clip the aluminium cover back over the screen. This can just be pressed onto the screen. Check the surrounding clips are all latched. Remove the screen protection film at this point if you have not done so already. Reinstall the black plastic surround. Push into place. Reinstall the T15 screws. Self-tapping plastic screws on the outside and threaded screws on the inside. Reinstall the back plastic cover and click it into place. All done. Now the screen is reassembled, plug it in and test it on the car. After confirming the new screen's functionality, it can be bolted back in place and the trim pieces reinstalled. We hope this instruction from QuickCycle has helped you repair your vehicle. Please give our video a like and a comment. If you need a replacement screen, please visit our UK website from the link in the description for an OEM quality replacement part available to be shipped worldwide.